What's cooking guys? In this video, we're gonna do a simple clock white transition effect in Premiere Pro. All right guys, to get started, all you need is two clips that are somewhat different. That is the perfect example of a clock wipe transition is you're going from one point of time into another point of time. So these are the two clips I'm going to choose. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to figure out how long we want our clock wipe transition to last. So I'm gonna to go to the middle of my two clips by hitting the up arrow key. And then from here, I'm going to hit the shift key and left arrow key to go over five frames. I think for this transition, I'm going to do maybe a little longer of a transition. Usually I do like six frames, but that'd be so quick for this clock wipe transition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably do maybe like, let's do 30 frames. So I'm at five right now. I'm still holding the shift key. I'm gonna hit the left arrow key for another five. So that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm just gonna hit a marker on my timeline with the M key. So now I know exactly where I want to pull my top clip to make this effect happen. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our second clip here, drag it up, and then lock it onto that marker. And if you're not actually able to lock onto that marker, it's because your snapping isn't enabled. And if your snapping isn't enabled, it is located right here. See mine's highlighted blue. So if it's that's not enabled, if it's just grayed out, that means this is never gonna snap onto that marker and be exact. So you wanna make sure that is activated. You can also just hit S on the keyboard to activate it or deactivate it. So once you have those locked and loaded, now we're gonna go into our effects tab and we're gonna type in radial wipe, which is right here under obsolete. So we're gonna drag radial wipe on top of our top clip. And now we have our radial wipe active. So what we're gonna first do is go to the beginning of our top clip. And to do that, I'm gonna hit the up arrow key. And if you're not able to go to the front of this clip and you go to the front of the whole sequence, it's because you don't have this track selected and toggled on. So you wanna make sure this is toggled blue. If this is not, then you're gonna to go to the front. So I'm gonna just make sure that's toggled and then hit the up arrow key and go to the beginning of the clip. And now that we're here, I'm going to change the transition completion to 100%. Hit the toggle animation for our transition completion. It's gonna create a keyframe. And now we want to go to the end of our first clip right here. And I'm going to hit the down arrow key to go to the end and still make sure our top layer is selected. And then we're going to change our transition completion to zero, hit enter. And now we have this clock wipe transition. Very smooth, very simple, but there's a couple more things we kind of want to do. We want to smooth out these keyframes. So I'm going to ease out the first one and ease in the second one make it a little smoother, kind of starts fast and ends slow. And we can adjust that even more by hitting this down arrow key and we have this little graph. And then you can grab this point on the top keyframe and kind of just pull and kind of create this curve in the line. And this will kind of have it like slow in the beginning, faster in the middle, and then slow at the end. And kind of just adjust that to how you feel looks best. And then you get something like this. That's how I'm gonna keep my look for my clock wipe. You can change it and adjust it however you want. And lastly, you can adjust any of these other settings. You have a start angle, kind of just adjust where you want the clockwork to start on the right, bottom, left, wherever you want to really fine tune it. And you can also change the wipe center. So it's kind of offset if you really are looking for that type of effect, but I'm good to keep it in the middle for that clock wipe. And you can also change the direction clockwise, counterclockwise even, but I'm gonna keep mine clockwise. I like the way that looks better. And lastly, you can adjust the feather Maybe just change it so it's not such a harsh line. Uh, I'm just gonna go with 50 right in the middle. And in the end, you get something like this. Uh, looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna just add a quick uh, sound effect to it just to kind of give it that little bit more of a whoosh effect. Something like this. Maybe time it a little bit. And there we go. This is exactly what I'm looking for for my clock wipe transition. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do, and you can customize it to look however you want it to look. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other transition videos like this and all my other tutorial videos like this. And as always, if you have any questions or want me to do some types of videos, leave it in the comments section below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.